Hello, my name is Ben and I am not a great gamer. Welcome back to Finland here in Banished. It is year 10. Oh, well, year 10. Cool. And last year, we, we kind of flirted with starvation just a little bit. I don't think we, uh, I don't think we had enough people working on food. So let's, uh, let's work on food a little bit. So we have upped the number of farmers by a lot. Uh, we could actually up it more. In fact, we might just do that. Might as well just do that. That's not what I meant to do. Here we go. We got four laborers, a bunch of farmers. Let's do that even better. Let's just spend an entire year just focused on farmers. How's that? Looks like we may get a little bit of yield out of this orchard. That would be pretty neat. We, uh, we have a hunting cabin. It is being used as much as it can be. Um, Shishanta has become a student. When was that? Yeah, okay. And, uh... We're doing about the best we can here. But uh, we could really, really use a lot more leather uh, for clothing primarily. So I was thinking about it. I'm thinking we might want to throw down another hunting cabin, or another um, forester lodge hunting cabin uh, thing, just combo, right over here. And what we'll want to do along with that, I think, is um, probably get a little bit of housing and even a market over here. We need a couple more like small markets. In fact, if this place over here is going to get really uh, useful, we're going to need to do some some small markets. Uh, markets just really make everything kind of work the way it's supposed to. So there's that. We on iron. Iron is fine. How are we on furnace fuel? Where is it? Do we have any furnace fuel? I, I'm missing it. Yeah, 56. We're, we're, we should be fine on furnace fuel for a little while. Now, we should probably be building a bridge over here. Um, so we're probably going to want to clear cut this area too. It's, it's, you know, we can only clear cut, you know, our way to so much, but uh, we can actually clear cut our way to so much. So there's that. Javante has become an adult, is working as a laborer. Sweet. So most of our people are are uh, educated. So oh hey, we still need more stones for our cemetery. Are we out of stone? Yeah, we're out of stones. Okay. Um. Well, I guess it's time to just erase this stuff. Just kill it all. Kill it all. Yeah, we need a cemetery. Cemetery. Oh wow, we have. Oof. We have a number of people who should probably be not living at home with their parents. I'm gonna build us some houses. Building some more houses, I suppose. Um, I think some... I think some of these three-story houses are what we will need now. Gimme! Give Gimme give a couple of these! Gimme a couple of these! Plunk it right Let's see here. There. Yeah. Medieval first floor residence. Give me one of them. Means we need some more uh, stones, but we'll get those eventually. How are the pears doing? Oh yeah, look at this. Pears. We're gonna get all kinds of pears this year. All kinds. We're over a thousand on our our stored food. That should be fine. That should be fine. We also have a thousand St spare parsnips. Hopefully, whoever comes and starts offering us food, or starts offering us livestock or whatever, uh, will actually accept parsnips. Because I have no idea what else we would offer. Um, maybe herbs? Maybe I should throw in some herbs. I don't know. Herbs. How much do we have? 435. Let's say 400. Let the herbalist actually do something. Alright? Right. Yeah, the reserve of food is low. I noticed. Whoa, hey! What the hell happened? Uh, did everybody just go and grab their food all at once? Holy crap. It went from... We were over a thousand to... Under a hundred? In virtually no time. And I mean virtually no time. There we go. We just need to build the cemetery. Cemeteries are important. Reserve of food is still low. Yes, yes, yes. 
That's okay, though. Look at these little worker bee farmers. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get pears and everything. Oh, so good. Hey, look, we have four stones. Sweet. So this area over here, yeah, we're going to try to turn into some additional farming stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this. It takes a lot of stone to build these medieval residences. It's just outside. Oh, Lethaly died of old age. She was the woodcutter. Oh, well. Poor Lethaly. She was she was with us from the beginning, I believe. I don't remember if she was a child, though. But I was commenting on her uh, pretty early on. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. That happens. We have nine students. Only three laborers, but come winter, we'll have plenty of laborers. It'll be great. Oh, I forgot I was building this bridge. I completely forgot about that. That will be just grand, actually. Oh, wow, we have a lot of raspberries here in this barn. That's a lot of raspberries. Raspberries! Yeah, and our food's back up to over 2,000. Um, so, yes, it dropped from 1,000 to uh, 17. At one point, I saw 17 food. It was a little scary. Here we go. We have another wooden bridge. I like bridges. Bridges really help things. Put this a road there. Put this a road there. Reserve of logs is low. Yeah, that happens. There we go. We're over 3,000 food. We will be fine. Oops. Now, these raspberries are just disappearing kind of on their own, which is really too bad. Oh, she got a couple more. There you go. Who was that? Who was that? Can, uh, Yamiller. Yamiller. Something like that. Yami Yay or something. Anyway. And we have a cemetery. It's too late for those who recently died and those who died a while ago. Uh, but we do have a cemetery. We have a cemetery. And now, our farmers... Do we have a bunch of, uh... Do we have a bunch of pears? Now our farmers will begin to, um... Be laborers, and we'll just rip this out pretty quick. Let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, look at this parsnip action. 227 pears. That'll go up to the, um... The yield will increase slowly on our um, on our orchard. So hopefully, people are collecting stone as fast as they can. That would be nice. Yeah, there is stone over here, but only so much. You know, a uh, quarry is going to have to happen before too long. Before too long. In fact. I think it may need to be here. In fact... Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get us a quarry. This is the regular quarry. This is the gar gargantuan one. Um, but we don't want that one. We're gonna do this one. So the small quarry... A small quarry to extra extract resources functions exactly the same as regular quarry, only with fewer maximum workers. Upgraded versions allow the ground to be reclaimed when removed. So that's kind of cool, and that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to put it out here, so as not to bother... We'll, we'll put, a few more, um, put a few more houses over in this area, but uh, we'll put the quarry here. I almost motioned with my finger. I was, I was in fact motioning with my hand of where it was going to go before I realized, you know what, you have no idea <laughs> where that is. You cannot see my hand. Can't you see my hand? You should just be able to see my hand. Let's get us a nice stockpile. Right there. 
There we go. 249 raspberries right there. Chon has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Excellent. What are our builders doing? Are you at least building this house. No, you're still seven stones away. Oh my goodness, come on. Pick up rocks. Just pick up rocks. Just, just pick me up some rocks, alright? Yeah, the core is going to take logs and lumber. I don't know what kind of lumberage we have. Oh, we got plenty. Yeah, we have plenty of lumber. We'll do just fine. Ooh, a trader. Ooh, a trader. Ooh, a trader. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Field berry seeds. Um, whoa. They will not take our parsnips. And they want 4,000. I don't think we can do this at all. Like, not at all. That's really too bad. 4,000. Ouch. Ouch, kids. Halo the planter, your prices. Man. For some reason I was expecting it to be 2,500, but that is... That's more than we can handle. Especially since they won't take food. Uh, what would iron iron tools cost? Let me let me do something real quick. Iron tools. Let's say we want fifty, and then we go to trade. Iron tools cost. Oh, iron tools will give us eight. Hmm. Eight a piece. Let's see here. Well, that's 50 times 8. I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's 400. I need 4,000. <laughs> oh, golly. That's not going to work. That's just too bad. There's really nothing we can do about that. Oh, well. Goodbye, Halo the Planter. Mm. 4,000 for seeds. That's, that's just so much. I wonder if there's something special about that product. You know? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, come on. Seven more stones. Come on. Seven more. Seven more. Get us another house. It'll be grand. There's not even that much stone over here. It's actually all... Yeah, that's all iron. And then just trees. Oops. Hmm. Oh. We, uh... We need some more stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, guys, but we need some more stuff. Oh, we have six laborers. That's new. Still running 13 farmers. Nice. Oh, four more stones. <laughs> we just need four rocks. There we go. Okay. There we go. This new residence is being built. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I would probably take nomads if they happened right now. Ooh, yeah, there's some people who needs to die. Yeah, Newell and Harlan, you need to just kind of stop. Could you just stop? You should just stop. Still no graves. That's interesting. I wish you could send your uh, your old people to the boarding house, but no. There we go. Now who moves in? Immediately, yeah. Immediately two people move in. Hezekiel and Yemeler. Isn't that a pretty little house? That's a pretty little house. 
this one right there. That's cute. You can barely see it because it's all mashed up against these other wooden houses. Uh, speaking of, who wants to build a well? We should probably build us a little well. There you go. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stones actually. We're going to be stoneless for a good long while. Go, my little farmer army, go! Wow, look at these guys now. I love watching it just go, like, watching the yield just climb all of a sudden. Well, it was doing that. It's not doing that anymore. Let's see, here have seven laborers. What do we got? Hmm. Actually, I think what we could use is a couple more builders and a couple more houses, actually. We do not have a stone for a stone house. Do we have the lumber for a salt box house? I bet we do. Let's have it out here. Yep, I'm glad I did that stockpile. That's a good stockpile. That's a good stockpile! It's a good stockpile. And we went from over 2,000 to under 200. Food. I think there's just a point when everybody goes and grabs food. And puts it in their house. Either that or... Like, how much... Did these guys grab just for themselves? I'd love to actually just add up what that is here. Well, well we'll be fine. Our farm yields are just fine, as long as we don't get any weird blights or anything. If we get weird blights or, or anything, we're just going to say goodbye to some people. Garland is now a laborer. Good times. Oh my goodness. No stone. After this section is done, I may just have people scour the world for just stone. Only stone, nothing but stone. Yeah, because there's some over here. In our sort of natural resource area. So our food is low. Yeah. I caught that. It's not really new to me. It's okay, it's still summer. So this is... It's funny, because every once in a while I'll, I'll, I'll set something up and be like, well, we'll just put... A couple of farmers on this big old plot, right? And we'll just sort of see what happens. In fact, you know what? Give me a couple more. Give me a couple more farmers. Oh yeah, I think we're maxed out on farmers here. Yeah. And uh, and then I see what can happen when you just max out a farm. And it hits, you know, 90, it hits 100% yield relatively quickly, quickly, and then that food just disappears and goes streaming into the market. A lot of iron ore. Oh, hey! Ooh, nice. Uh, let's get just a couple of quarry workers. Just a couple. Now we have two laborers. <laughs> oh well. It'll be fine. Come winter, we will get actual stones. Oh, hey, there's the well. The well is being built. The well is right next to the small iron smelter, which is probably the way it should be. Now you can face the uh, the three-story house things. You can actually rotate them on top of their uh, on top of their uh, foundations. And so you, you can have the bottom story be what this is, and then flip the second story around, and then have the third story uh, be what it is. And anyway, it's just kind of interesting. Oh, merchant has arrived. Please have okay. Oh, parsnip seeds. See this, twenty five hundred. This is what I was expecting. Okay, I don't know that we can actually do it because they want something that's not food. I don't know that we have anything. I don't know that we have anything else. Like if we emptied our if we emptied out our lumber. 
Like, let's take a look at this. Sort by quantity. Well, we have a lot of iron ore, but oh golly, iron ore is... I don't know if you knew this, but iron ore is kind of useful. Let me, let me do a quick thing here. Let me do a quick thing. If we take iron ore... How much? Okay, 631 iron ore, plus... 367 reeds, plus... <laughs> Uh, 272 lumber plus uh, 215 feathers plus I mean I'm, we're running out quick here oh we're running out of furnace fuel too I just don't think it's gonna happen not this time which is really sad that being said let us go to the inventory and say we don't need as many feathers as we have we just don't let's say 200 Let's start moving feathers over there. What to say? Two lonely stone cutters over here. Are you educated? Yes, you are. Okay, good. So he is less likely to fall down and kill himself. Look, he's a little kid. Yanderson is just sort of playing there in the quarry. I know. Let's play in the quarry. Let's die. Stupid kids. Stupid kids. What are you thinking? That being said, I don't know what we should do. Iron tools. Let's slowly play with iron tools. Throw a few iron tools in there. A child named Elizabeth was born. Either that or it's Lizbeth. I can't tell. Oh, did you see all the uh, the trees lose their leaves all at once? I love that. <laughs> and we are at almost 3,000 food. Ooh. Snow's coming early. Come on, all my farmers. My farmer minions, come on. Pick up them raspberries. Pick up them raspberries. This is the when you're just not thinking too hard about what needs to happen. Like right, we could just keep our our little city the way it is right now, pretty well. So and I can just watch these guys pick up them raspberries. That's all you know. That's all I need. That's why I like this game. Reserve of tools is yeah because I just uh, ooh, uh let's release a couple iron tools maybe like forty maybe maybe fifty was a bit much. And then actually what we're going to have to do is up the... We're going to have to get some fuel refinery going. Fuel refinery going. Ugh, ben, come on. Come on, Ben. And poor sap. He's trying, to cut a, he's trying to cut a log without a tool. Look at him. I mean, he obviously has a tool, but he's just going very, very, very slowly. Poor guy. Let's focus on him. Uh, Javante is getting something to eat. He's actually... Oh, he's not that healthy, but he's pretty happy. Oh, two people without tools. Oh, come on. Come on. I wish I could do this trade. Oh, I don't even need parsnip, parsnip seeds. Wait, was this, the, was this the people who were there? Oh yeah, I have parsnips. I don't even need parsnip seeds. Or is this a different person? I can't even tell. <laughs> I'm a moron. But yeah, that, that price is what I was expecting. That price is what I was expecting. Uh, materials, 1,000. Um, more like 5,000. Do not stop doing materials for that reason. There we go. Okay. Okay, how many tools do we have now? Iron tools, 11. Sweet. Now... Go to the inventory. Now I want 50. 50 tools. Okay. And now my farmer minions are just strip mining the world over here. No. Um. Oh! Owen has become an adult and is working as a laborer. We have three laborers. Nominally. We actually have more than that. 
Oh, good. Yeah, sweet. They're uh, they're wandering over here and picking up rocks and things, rocks and iron and stuff. That's nice. Fortunately, I can't mine this. I don't think so. Anyway, can I mine this? Give me a minute. Uh, resource production. Mines are really fiddly in this game. They were even worse in the original. But, uh... They can be pretty fiddly here, too. Oh, I can stick one right there. And I will, but I'm gonna pause that. One of the things that I do is I find all the mineable spots, and I just plunk mines down there and then pause them all. Just so that I know where a mine will work. Um, because there's just... It can be so hard to find a spot where a mine can go. It's kind of funny. But I think it's a little bit easier. I don't know if it's the mod or if the developer changed the the requirements for exactly where a mine can go, but it's uh it's working a little bit better now. Yeah, we could probably have another fisher person. Let's do that. Yeah, food's getting interesting. Food is getting really interesting. Let's get a road down here. We will have to um, consider plunking down another couple of uh, another couple of farm fields or something. What was that? Almost looked like lightning, like on the screen, not in real life. Ooh, we could use another. We pretty much always use another house. Students will actually move out. I've seen them do that. But, uh, hmm. You know what we could actually really, really, really use? Any Lars become a student. Good. Good. We could use an apiary. And I think we're gonna go for that. Right about here. It's right on the edge of the forest, but also near... I don't know exactly what apiaries need to function. Theoretically, being near a forest should be good, and being near a uh, farm field should be good as well, but I don't know exactly how that works. So, we shall see. But I think that is going to be the last thing we do here. This particular little episode. So, I enjoyed myself. I do hope you enjoyed yourself as well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye from... Who are you? Goodbye from Winstony, the vendor. Have a good day.